Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to show you how you can create the user definable fields and then put them onto your template that we have sent to you. So the first thing you need to do is go into settings and then settings and then you'll see user definable fields. We also have types as well for drop down menus if that's what you're using as one of your user definable fields. Uh, but we'll use user definable fields for this one so just click on that. And what you can do is you just click on user fields down at the bottom here and click on new. And then you type in the description of your user definable field. Type in the type, which would in this case we're going to put in as text. And then we're going to decide which module we need that in. So if we did a template for you for a job sheet, you're going to make that available in job sheet and always show. So if there's a user field you want to display there. So we'll just quickly go to types as well, just to show you how that works. So you can go to types and you can create one called ref type, for example. So you just go types, new, and then you can type in ref type there. And you'll see that you've got a couple of chiller, split, and a VRF. So again, I'm going to make that available in job sheet and I'm going to make it always show. I'm going to press OK. So that's two used findable fields we got, or two classifications as we like to call it, and click, which can be a user findable field or a type. So the next thing you really need to do is import the template that we've sent you. So what you'll need to do is go to Tools and then go to Print Template Editor. And in here you'll see Import at the top. Now hopefully you've saved that particular template to your documents and you'll be able to find it in here. So here we've got one click template dot click for. So I'm going to use that one and click open. And you see that you've now got that. So the next thing we need to do is put those user definable fields in here. Now you'll see where there's user definable fields because it will have the word value in brackets. Now it's your job to put in what you want in to go in that value. So for example, we have engineer reg number. So if I double click on that you'll see that it will say, please select the user field you wish to display. So I come down on here, you'll see we've got engineer reg number, and that's the one we want to display. And it will display the value. So ticked, it's already ticked by default, so that should be fine. You can decide if you want to change the print style, but if not, that's fine. You just click on OK, and that's it. You've now got engineer reg in there. Now the next one was the type we did, the drop down menu. So again, we just click on the value. So I, can, I know it's to do with the VRR, uh, VRF split chiller. So I can click on the value on here. There we go. And then we'll just click on the ref type and press OK. So that will now bring in the ref type value. OK. So that's it for the user definable fields and putting them on your template. So let's just see how that looks on a template. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to save that and we're going to put it on the job in the job module because that's for this case it is a job sheet template. So I'm going to go category job. Uh, we'll just call it click template for now and I'll click OK. So if we go back into the click software and we create a quick job. So I'm going to right click create job sheet. I'm going to see my user fields in here. So we've got engineer reg number and also ref type. So I'm going to put a ref type chiller, reg number 1234. Click on save and I'm going to go and print it now. And you'll see the click template. Press OK. And that's put in those two user findable fields um, that you've put in. And that is how you do it. Thank you very much for listening. Bye.